Jeff McAuley, and I am here today with Premier Guitar to talk about one of my favorite guitar players, Peter Green. Now, Peter is one of the driving forces of the British blues movement coming out of London in the mid to late 60s. He replaced Eric Clapton and John Mayall in the Blues Breakers, and he was the founding member of Peter Green's Fleetwood Mac. Now, Peter went on to influence countless guitar players, Gary Moore, Billy Gibbons, and Robin Ford among them. So, one thing that I really love about Peter's sound that I want to talk about, there's so much to talk about today, I just want to talk about one thing, and it's always great to just focus in on one aspect and get that into your playing. And today it's going to be a minor pentatonic scale, where we're going to replace the flatted seventh of the scale with the natural six. I'm going to be playing over a C blues today, which is very similar to the tune If You Be My Baby, which is on a number of Fleetwood Mac records and a number of different versions of it. So I highly recommend you check it out. And that's where I got this great lick from. Uh, then this scale idea, which I hear guys like Michael Schenker, who's a big influence on me, and Angus Young use as well. All right, so playing over C blues, we're normally going to use a C minor pentatonic scale, which is spelled C, E flat, F, G, B flat, C, E flat, F, G, B flat, C, E flat, right? Now, if we're playing a C pentatonic scale, C minor pentatonic scale, we're almost always going to bend our flat third a little bit. That's something, if you don't know that, it's something you definitely want to do. The reason why we want to always have that note sort of moving, we always want to tweak that flatted third, is because if we're playing over a C7 chord, C7 is spelled C, E, G, B flat, and the scale has an E flat in it. So if I'm playing C7, not a great choice. So I always want to bend it a little bit so I'm alluding to that pitch. Whether I get to it or not is not that important, as long as that note continues to be in motion. Always keep that note in motion. Right? That's really important that it keeps going until you get to your next note. Okay, so the scale I want to talk about is a minor pentatonic scale natural six. So I'm going to take C minor pentatonic, C, B flat, F, G. Now normally I have a B flat. I'm going to replace that with the six, which would be A. So now my scale is C, E flat, F, G, A, C. E flat, F, G, A, C, E flat. So that's a great sound on that C chord. All right, there's that tweak third. Now to me that already sounds a little brighter, right? If I'm hearing it over you know, C9 or C7. as opposed to not a bad sound of course it's just your flat 7 but the 6 is just a little brighter I love that sound it's really huge huge part of Peter Green's style and of course BB King where you can tell definitely Peter was a fan of of BB King uh, as we all are hopefully <laughs> okay so then here's the lick that lick is awesome. The lick right here, I'm gonna play C. There's that A, E flat, a little bit of tweak. There's my C, and then there's the A again. Now. That's a cool sound, right? So it's kind of brighter as opposed to Right, that would be the flat seven. Very different. What is super cool about that scale, our four chord, I'm gonna play an F9 chord. Um, F9 is spelled F, A, C, E flat, G. Now let's play that C minor pentatonic scale with a natural six. I'm gonna start it on the F. F, G, A, C, E flat, F, G, A, C, E flat. So the C minor pentatonic scale with a natural six is also an F9 arpeggio. It is the perfect scale to play on your four chord. So if I'm doing So it's the perfect scale. Now, does it work on our five chord? Sure it does. Back to our 
one chord. So what's awesome is this fingering and the scale works beautifully over the one, four, and the five. Now, one thing I did, which is also indicative of what Peter would do and just a great way to, to uh, switch it up a little bit more and get that sweet blues sound where you're mixing a little bit of a minor and a major sound. So here, I'm gonna go for my four chord, as I did in the recording. So I went from the four chord, which is F, back to the one. So that lick, I'm gonna go down the lick I showed you. Then, I'm gonna go to my C chord. I'm gonna play E flat to E, C. There's my B flat for my C7 chord. G, F, E. So I have the sound of So what's going on there is I'm just sounding the notes of my C7 chord so we can hear the change. There's nothing here Peter Green do quite a bit. He will outline the sound of the chord changes. So let me walk you through that one one more time. All right, so here we have C, A, E flat, slight, slight tweak, C, A, C. Now I'm gonna slide from E flat to E, C, B flat, G, F, E. Now I have to time that just right, so this is, right, that when I go to there, that's the downbeat of my C chord. All right, now we're gonna go to our five chord, which is G9 down to F, right? The four chord back to the one. Here I'm gonna go to classic Peter Green, BB King. There, I'm gonna slide in, going to C major pentatonic primarily to get that G chord. So now, I'm gonna slide from G up to A, C, A. Now, I'm gonna bend this D, which is the fifth of my G chord, up a whole step, sit in that D, which really is part of my G chord. Then, now there, I'm gonna play an E flat, which is my flat seven of my F chord. So, that's a really important lick to get down. You hear that change? Right, you're hearing those chords change right along with the notes you're playing. So. Then I kind of end on a blues like and Hit my five chord just on the root at the right time on the last bar of the blues. So just to recap everything we talked about, the idea is to just, first of all, take one idea and work with it. C minor pentatonic natural six. It works perfectly on the one chord, the four chord, and the five chord. It is the absolute perfect scale to play on the four chord. It's in fact an F9 arpeggio. So you just kind of work on that idea right off the top. Just keep on playing that lick. <laughs> So just keep on messing around with that scale. And then resolve it. So that's it for today. We're just gonna take a quick look, just brush in the surface of the things that Peter Green would do. But this is a real gateway into his sound. You hear him use it on many, many recordings. So thanks for checking us out. Once again, I'm Jeff Mackerlane. Please feel free to check me out on my website, jeffmackerlane.com, and my YouTube page, jeffmackerlane slash YouTube. And thanks so much, Premier Guitar, for having me here.